Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thanks, President. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, let me first start by thanking our uh, Maltese hosts for organizing a very successful Congress. Since we last uh, met in Madrid uh, 15 months ago, the European project has gone through very challenging times, and uh, we need to rise to the occasion, and our political family needs to lead by example. And as much as we celebrate our achievements, we need to recognize that muddling through is not a long-term sustainable option. The threats of populism, the threats of nationalism cannot be addressed through half-hearted measures, references to our glorious past, and smiling family pictures. We need to take control, both of the European and the national agenda, and to go out and explain to our citizens why more and better Europe is in their best interests. We need more Europe if we wish to grow and create good jobs for our citizens. It is important to acknowledge that the Euro architecture has certain inherent flaws, and its weaknesses can only be addressed through mechanisms that further forge economic convergence. We need a genuine banking union. We need a common insurance deposit scheme, and at some point in the future, we need the capacity to issue joint debt. But this can only happen, this can only happen if we put in place proper institutional safeguards that ensure fiscal discipline. We have been too quick to cut spending and raise taxes. We have been too slow to address the problems of our banks. And we have been too hesitant to implement the necessary structural reforms to make us more competitive and able to navigate the tides of globalization. At the same time, we need more Europe if we wish to keep our citizens safe from both internal and external threats. The threats we face to our security are both traditional as well as hybrid in nature, and they can only be addressed through enhanced cooperation. And of course, of course, the free movement of people within the Union needs to be combined with a vigilant management of the Union's external borders. And the establishment of a European Coast Guard and Border Patrol needs to be an absolute priority for the Union. In a global and regional environment that remains unsafe, there can be no substitute for effective foreign and defense policy coordination. And to this, state, to this end, every member state must show the leadership that is required and share in the financial burden by meeting the 2% of GDP defense spending threshold. At the same time, and this is uh, an issue we in Greece hold very closely to our heart, we need more Europe if we wish to address the refugee and migration crisis. This problem is not just going to go away. Our proximity to the Middle East and Africa constitutes a common threat to all our member states. It is profoundly unfair, it is profoundly unfair to place the burden for managing migration flows on those countries that happen to form the external borders of the Union. Let me make it clear, it is not just about money. More burden sharing is necessary to demonstrate in principle that we stand united in addressing this common challenge. Nevertheless, and let me conclude by this point, the battle for our common future will not just be fought in the European fora, in Brussels or in Strasbourg, or in our nicely organized EPP Congresses. Populism needs to be defeated in our backyards by the member states themselves. The ownership of an aggressive reform agenda is a necessary precondition to change the political discourse. Greece was the first country to elect a populist government to power. It has been a very painful, a very traumatic experience. But we will also be one of the first countries to prove 
that the politics of truth, competence, reason and moderation can prevail once again. And this is a necessary precondition. This is a necessary precondition, not just for my country to grow, but it is a necessary precondition to ensure that Greece will always remain at the forefront of the European integration project as it moves into its next ambitious phase. Thank you very much for your attention.